In this video we're going to make a forced air forge from an old propane cylinder and I'll explain the reasons why. I was inspired to make a bushcraft knife recently after I visited my good friend Hugh Jones on the island of Anglesey in North Wales. He's a brilliantly skillful craftsman making some absolutely beautiful bespoke knives. I'll put a link to his Facebook page in the description below. Hugh told me the best steel for the job would be an old file as the carbon content is just right. He also told me I would need to heat it to take away the case hardening of the steel so it could be worked easily. I didn't have anything that would heat the steel to the required temperature, so we better make something. Now the most important thing to note in the whole of this process is that any gas left in the cylinder must be expelled with water. Now to shape it. Cue the cutting montage. Great, so so far we've got something that looks like a cot for a minion. Subscribe! Well, it's time to go into the workshop and stick it all together. And by stick it all together, that's fairly much what I mean. If you're looking for good welding, you're probably in the wrong place. So in essence now we've got a jolly heavy metal bowl with a perforated air tube running from the outside into the combustion chamber. While DIY Dave chops some fuel and lights the forge, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for watching our videos. Please like and subscribe so that we can grow the channel and bring you more of the videos that you enjoy watching. It was at this point I realised that we were struggling to light the forge. I wondered what Colin Furs would do. Hmm, I wonder what Saint Colin would do. Well, you know we can always trust the Furzmeister to come up with the best solution. <laughs> 